Senator Nolan, the OL stands for organized labor. 100% labor voting record. Michael Nolan, come on up, please. Let me just say that, you know, there are two things that uh, I'm asked to do as senator when it comes to votes. That is to vote my district and vote uh, the way that a majority of my constituents would probably have me vote. And secondly, to vote my conscience. And as you might imagine, over the last couple of years, it's been a wild, crazy ride, and I've had a chance to do both uh, that you're probably all, all aware of. But I think it's important from time to time to give the people a refresher about where we stand and what we believe in. Uh, and I think uh, I'll take that opportunity here briefly just to mention a few core values. And you know, I think as I look around the room, as I look at all the people that I've had a chance to speak with before I, I, I came up here this evening and this panel, I see that we all share a set of common beliefs in progressive values and the Constitution, believing that, for example, government plays an important role in all of our lives and that it should pay more than just simply lip service to things like health care and education, creating jobs, and being good stewards of the environment. And as I look out here, I see that there are people also that believe in things like freedom of choice, equal rights, equal opportunity, and believe that the government, that we should also maintain a social network that takes care of the most vulnerable amongst us, namely, for example, our returning veterans who have gone to the fore and to the front lines for all of us. Yeah, absolutely. And I know as Democrats, we all believe in accountability and government. I'd like to echo some of the sentiments by the comptroller, fiscal responsibility and investing prudently, which I salute our comptroller and our treasurer for doing so over the time that they have worked together. But part of that also means that we're, and part of the equation needs to be that we support things like a prevailing wage, upholding collective bargaining agreements, and building, and building for our common future. We believe as we go along the way and we're thinking about things, we also believe in the simple things like the power of community, neighbors helping neighbors, diversity, and the golden rule, and family values. It seems like we take a hit on that, but let me tell you something about family values. You know, this party, for all of its failings, and we have many, and we know that, we know that. For all of our failings, we behave more like family, bickering and all, for sure, than the other guys or the other party or parties could ever hope to. And that's why Illinois is a blue state, why it's going to stay a blue state, and why, in the words of Harry Truman, the Republicans are just going to have to like it. That's right. Now, I'm an optimist. I, I believe that despite our, our pressing problems, and they too are great and many, that, and we think about the economy, we think about massive job losses, this $9 billion state budget deficit that's crushing us, cr crumbling roads and bridges. Despite all of those things, our best days lie ahead. Our president, our president, Barack Obama, has said that this is our time, and I believe him. And it is no more true than here in the state of Illinois and for we Democrats. We have a new governor. We have a new Senate president. And we have a new General Assembly. We have, in Kane County, we have newly elected Kane County board members in my neck of the woods, Christine Castro and Jeanette Mahalik. Yep, that's right. <laughs> newly elected State Representative Keith Farnham, first, first Democrat taking that seat from Republicans. And for the first time, he's left now, but gosh, you got to see him, our Congressman. Our Congressman, a Democrat, elected in the 14th Congressional Foster. District, Mr. Foster went to Washington. Right. These are the days. These are the days that we will remember. These are the days that we will look back 
and remember that the people turn to us with all of these difficult things that lie on our table. They turn to us with their dreams, and we turned their dreams into reality. One day, and may it be in the twilight of our years, after we have long since laid down the tools of our trades, we will look back and realize that this was the time that we harnessed the very forces of nature, the wind, the sun, and Barack Obama, and rose to the occasion, arose to meet the greatest challenges of our time. It is an honor to be the state senator from the 22nd district. I want to thank you all here for making that possible for me. Good night and God bless.